counterproductive communication is when your body language or what you have to say is working against your goals. Like that's fair. Another review and no raise. I mean, what's up with that? What do you mean? I just had my performance with you with Jerry. Okay. I mean, I've been here for two whole years now. I have the whole professional attire thing going. I mean, I even attended that stupid retreat. I mean, don't I give 100%? I mean, you've been here longer than me. What's up? And you're wondering why you didn't get a raise. Yeah. I mean, what's a girl got to do around here? Unfortunately, Miss Disappointed is going to stay disappointed if she doesn't figure out what her body language and woe is me verbal skills are saying to her coworkers. Number one, when you touch your face, fiddle with your jewelry or hair, you communicate a lack of self-confidence or nervousness. Yeah. These same actions can be used effectively to flirt in a social environment, but at work, it'll just put you at a disadvantage. Number two, when your physical stance is narrow, you look like you're just trying to take up less space. On the average, women stand with their feet six inches apart. Understand the power of body language and make your stance larger if you want to impose a stronger but more confident look. Your body language will tell us how you feel about yourself and the others you are with. Your face shows your emotion. Your body shows how you're dealing with those emotions. A wise woman might do that last scene a little differently. It might look something like this. Brad, do you have a minute? Sure. I just had my performance with you with Jerry. How did it go? A little disappointing. I was left unclear on what I could do better. How did your review go? It went well. Pretty good, actually. Anything I should know? Well, I went in with real specifics. I've been keeping track since my last review of company goals and benchmarks I'd achieved. I had them in writing and ready, and I went over what I thought might be Jerry's top three. And I asked him specifically where he thought my focus should be over the next six months. And he told you? He told me.